Children are like sponges, and they soak up the many things that they see others doing on television and often repeat what they see. Children who repeatedly observe violent or aggressive problem-solving behavior in the media tend to rehearse what they see and imitate those behaviors in real-life encounters. In 2001, a Bell study believes that long periods of television use may lead to lack of development in the prefrontal cortex, an area of the brain necessary for planning, self-control, moral judgment, organizing, and attention. To counter these problems, parents can monitor the family's internet and television use to ensure children receive a balance of the real and digital worlds, especially during important developmental years. My name is Dr. Janet Hill. I'm an associate professor. I'm the program coordinator for um, early childhood education here at Dell State. Children don't develop because of television, but television certainly has an impact on it but I think that, that it can actually hurt child development. Children, um, if they spend too much time, generally too much screen time, whether it's television or um, computer time, that it keeps them away from doing other interactive things which have an impact on, on kids' development because kids need a lot of social interaction, they need a lot of real life experiences. Uh, most of what they get from a, um, from a screen is more vicarious and um, so it, the more screen time that they have, the less time they have to do those kinds of um, first hand um, uh, uh, real life authentic experiences. Some of the most valid TV shows are children's cartoons. In these cartoons, violence is portrayed as humorous, realistic, and consequences of violence are rarely shown. A survey was given to parents and teachers of the laboratory school at Delaware State University. One parent was able to share his opinions on how television impacts his younger daughter. First couple of years, they, they, it influences them a lot. Different TV shows they watch and, you know, different, different things that they see, they'll, they'll copy it until they get, you know, told the right way to do things, the right role, but they'll definitely mimic what they see on TV and influence them to do the things they do a lot when they're younger. For example, my daughter, you know, she watches Dora a lot, and Dora be going everywhere with the backpack, so she runs in the room and grabs her backpack and says, Daddy, backpack, backpack. Goes in her bag and gets out all these different types of things, you know, toys and stuff, pretending that they're mad or, you know, things like that. So yeah, I can, I can see, I can see that. My kid pretty much watches Nickelodeon and all the television show, uh, television channels the most. Um, I, I, cause I definitely don't agree with Dog Swim. Dog Swim is just too, it's too mature for somebody of their age group. I think that's a, that's a, that's a, you know, a, a showtime for kids or adults of the age of 18 older. You know, especially it's just really horrible for for children and toddlers. Um, so Nickelodeon is probably their best. She watches a lot of Dora. That's all she really wants. I have to go buy a lot of DVDs and things like that of Dora just so she watches. I believe that children should not watch adult programming. Um, I think that um, there are certain kinds of children's shows. I would never censor. Um, but I would, I think it's, it's partly on an individual basis what kids would like to, um, you know, if, if kids want to watch a certain kind of show, um, I think that sometimes there needs to be adult intervention. Maybe the adult needs to be there to, to talk about it and to be a part of it. Um, so, it, Definitely, they should be. Um, should, they shouldn't be exposed to adult programming. But um, it, it's it's up to the adults to make decisions about what's appropriate for their children as far as children's programming is concerned. 
A recent study done by the University of Michigan Health System found that injuries are the leading cause of death in children and watching unsafe behavior on television may increase children's risk-taking behavior such as trying dangerous stunts, substance use and abuse, and irresponsible sexual behavior. It is evident that children are affected by the negative influences portrayed on television. Children between the ages of 2 through 10 are at an impressionable stage and it is important for them to watch shows age appropriate. Remember, children see and children do.